Hello everyone. Welcome to Super Coaching UPSC by Textbook. This is Venkatesh, your faculty for geography. And after a, I hope you all have celebrated Holi very well. Had a good time in celebration of Holi. Now it's time for once again getting into your groove, getting into the preparation of UPSC, right? So with these things into considerations. So let us discuss about the Mediterranean climatic region as such. So in this video, I am trying to discuss around two topics. One, the Mediterranean climatic region, how it is, has an impact on, on our life, how or in general, what is the climate of Mediterranean, what are the unique things about Mediterranean and how it also has an impact on India's climate. So there are two different concepts merged with one video. So without much wastage of time, let us discuss about it. Right. Okay. So, so let's start about the first one. The Mediterranean climate. Let us understand about the Mediterranean climate. Now, when you talk about the Mediterranean climate, now why are you learning about a climatic region as such? Can you give me a brief idea about what is the significance of learning climatic region? Let me see the comments. Let me see the comments. Can anyone of you tell me what is a brief idea of the significance of climatic regions? Yes, Gayatri, yes, order of a region. Any kind of a climate, you will try to learn. You will try to learn about what? You will try to learn about its significance because it will provide a, a general order of a region. By the way, what do you mean by order of a region? A general order of a region, what do you mean by that? See, if you are trying to understand about the Mediterranean climate, one of the philosophy of understanding this is, if the problems in Mediterranean regions are having in terms of climate, the solutions are there in Mediterranean region, we can deploy the same things in our part of the world. For example, if there is an equatorial climate in Amazon forest, the solution, if there is any problem with you, which you find in Amazon, you can get the solutions from Indonesia, you can get the solutions from Sri Lanka, you can get the solutions from Kerala. Similarly, if there is any kind of a water stress you find in Rajasthan, the solution you can find from Rajasthan alone and that solution can be implemented not just in India but also across all the hot deserts of the world. So in other words, in one line if I wanted to end, if solutions, if problems are not unique, solutions need not be unique. That is the outcome of any kind of climatic region. What is that once again I am trying to tell you? If the problem is not unique, solutions need not be unique. That is number one. Keeping that into consideration, let us understand about the Mediterranean climatic region. So when you talk about the Mediterranean climatic region, you know that it is across the regions of Mediterranean Ocean dominated. This is the Mediterranean Ocean. You can talk about the regions of Portugal, Spain, France, Southern France, Italy, Greece, some minor portions of even on the Western Asian, Israel, Northern African continents and even Central Chile, one of the well-developed region of Mediterranean climate, it is here in the Central Chile. The California region of America, California region of America, USA. You can also talk about the regions of the Cape Town province of South Africa, Cape Town as well as even the Australian regions. These are the broadly the Mediterranean climate. As it is well developed in the Mediterranean Ocean, they are called so. Then, what is the uniqueness of Mediterranean climate? What is the uniqueness? For every climatic region, once you have understood the location, the important thing you need to understand and remember is what is the uniqueness? You know what is the uniqueness? It is dry summers, wet winters, 
dry summers and wet winters. The climate of Mediterranean climate will be in such a way that it is summers are dry, winters are very very wet. Now why do you find this phenomena? This phenomena is found because of shifting of the pressure belts. I think uh, you should all have understood the shifting of pressure belts. You know the conditions of equinoxes and solstices. When you have understood the conditions on equinoxes and solstices, where are vertical rays of the sun on June 21st my dear? Where are vertical rays of the sun? The vertical rays of the sun on June 21st happens to be in the northern hemisphere in the on the tropic of Cancer. In other words, when the apparent movement of the sun shifts north, the wind systems also shift north and also the shift south. So the pressure belts and the wind belts, everything will shift north. Now, we all know this kind of general winds which are there in the tropical part of the world the trade winds in the temperate part of the world, the westerlies. In summers, what happens is, when you have the vertical rays of the sun are here around 30 degrees, 23 degrees, the pressure belt shifts north. So, this region is not under the influence of westerlies. Wester in summer, what happens? Westerlies winds will be blowing like this. This is in summer. Whereas, in winter, now where are vertical rays of the sun on December 22nd? All of you, where are vertical rays of the sun on December 22nd? It is Tropic of Capricorn in the Southern Hemisphere, it is somewhere here. So, the vertical rays of the sun are in the Southern Hemisphere. Because of that, all the wind systems, the pressure belts will be shifting southwards. So, you will find that because the subtropical high pressure belt will be located here, now the wind systems, the trade with the westerlies will be blowing like this. So, what is happening? In winter, in winter, what will you find? In winters, you will find that this region is under the influence of westerlies. And you all know that westerlies come from which side of the earth? They are coming from the ocean. When westerlies are coming from the ocean, they are having, they are onshore, that means they carry moisture, that means they give rainfall. So, that is the reason why wet winters rainfall. Whereas dry summers, region is under the influence of trade winds. So, or subtropical high pressure belt, because of that, no onshore winds. Hence, no rainfall. Now, what is happening? Let me explain. If you need to remember about the shifting of the pressure belts, all of you. This is the equatorial low pressure belt. Located around the equator. You have the subtropical high pressure belt. Located usually at the latitudes of 25 to 35 degrees. This is usual. Right now, in June, what will happen? Everything shifts northwards. So the equator will remain the same. Geographical equator, where does it go? It will remain the same. No, around the geographical equator, you will find the variations. You will find the equatorial low pressure belt located here. Subtropical high pressure belt located slightly above this, above 35. Now, because of this, what is happening? Now, here you will find the trade winds. And if you talk about the Mediterranean climatic region, this is where you will find the Mediterranean climatic region. Now, what is happening? In summer, in June, you are finding that the Mediterranean region is under the influence of, it is under the influence of trade winds. Because of that, you will not find any kind of rainfall, dry summers. Whereas by winter, what happens? Now winter, you will see. The usual or the winter phenomena, you will find that everything will shift south. Because of shifting south, what will happen? You will find the westerlies which will be blowing here. Now whenever westerlies are blowing, 
this region will get rainfall you can see here you can see here this is the height uh, this is the high pressure belt this high pressure belt as it shifts northwards westerlies would be blowing as westerlies starts blowing that is when you will find the maximum impact of that that is when you will find this dry summers so keeping this location into consideration shifting of pressure belts if you have dry summers and wet winters look at how it is having an impact on life here what is the thing you associate with the mediterranean climate all of you you always associate mediterranean climate with what with the grape cultivations right the vineyards right the vineyards or the wine yards which you can call it as the vineyards they are known for citrus fruits why do you think that you have the citrus fruits why do you find the vitti culture here grown like anything the grow uh, the regions of vitti culture why if you why do you find such kind of characteristics you find such kind of characteristics because 6 to 7 months of dryness what is that 6 to 7 months you find the dryness when you find 6 to 7 months of dryness what will happen 6 to 7 months of dryness there is no rainfall it will allow the fruits to ripen it allows the fruits to ripen that is the reason why you have the citrus fruits the oranges the lemons the grapes all are grown here because the ripening of the fruits is protected by the climate so in other words this region is known for viticulture 80 percentage of the growth of grape cultivation here is meant for wine yards you all remember a popular uh, what do you say wine by name champagne what is champagne it's a wine it is part of a region in france a valley in france now in these regions of france italy as well as portugal spain or even in south africa cape town every region has some kind of a unique cultivation of wine yards they have their unique taste they have their unique charisma they have their unique uh, identification of that so people who are part going here as part of the tourism they are going here because they were whenever they are going here they are trying to enjoy this wine yards because every region is providing them a unique taste of wine so people who love such such, such things they travel here so mediterranean climate tourism one of the reason you have is this now who is determining this kind of ripening of fruits the citrus fruits it is because of the climate the dry summers 6 to 7 months of dryness is allowing the fruits to dry and they ripen and thereby you are finding this and next point if you want to remember about this uh, climatic region you will also see that you know this is the mediterranean climate always about this you will also see that the mediterranean climate is known for tourism because of clear skies tourism clear skies pleasant weather now in some in the regions of europe what happens is european region climate is very very harsh in winter you cannot move significantly tourist people doesn't don't travel much in the months of winter because of the severity of the climate so the moment june approaches they always go to the coastal regions of mediterranean ocean that is the southern europe beat spain portugal beat around southern france italy and all you remember venice region of lakes you remember the regions of spain portugal all these are popular places you have very well developed resorts all the way along the coast of the mediterranean ocean because frankly this is not a region of more rainfall clear skies pleasant weather dry summer is allowing the people to travel in the summer so you don't find any kind of trouble with respect to rainfall they will enjoy the sky they will enjoy the open skies the clear skies the pleasant weather they wanted to travel so tourism is very very high why in fact the dry summers is contributing to it the moment when it comes the winter wet winters they are not going anywhere so in other words the mediterranean climate characteristic features in terms of dry summers and wet winters 
is in, is developing the economic activity of tourism is promoting the economic acti activity of viticulture the economic activity of vineyards the economic activity of sit growth of citrus fruits you go across all these places whether it is central chile whether it is the california whether about these regions this viticulture and vineyards they are very very popular so as the tourism here you can take the names venice one such place right all of you are you able to follow here the dry summers and the distinct dry seasons and the wet season is in other words how can climate have a significant impact on economic activity is this can you name the what you say the orange city of india which city is known for oranges don't say sunrises ipl wale don't say that can you tell me the orange city of india nagpur so as nashik which happens to be the uh, city known for grapes and vineyards why some kind of linkages some kind of impact there is some kind of a resemblance not completely some kind because mediterranean climate itself is found in the warm temperate region india doesn't have warm temperate region significantly but you do find some significance in the interiors of maharashtra that is what you need to remember right so this is the region which we call it as what warm temperate western margin what do you call this warm temperate western margin so this warm temperate western margin is the regions where you find such things so one more thing these regions are known so known for another important event which is here called as the forest fires you know what this region is known for forest fires say the chili forest fires of 2022 2023 chili why it is under forest california forest fires why 7 to 8 months of dryness 7 to 8 months of dryness it is a climate which is determining the dominance of forest fires you do find other factors the man made factors the kinds of uh, uh, unnecessary activities you know cigarette butts not uh, completely finishing off the fire or else you can find the things like uh, the barbecue which they celebrate in the forests not completely dozing off the fire having such kind leaving such kind of things and that forest fire spreading like anything you do find multiple varieties but the underlying factor is the dryness 7 to 8 months of dryness especially in the summers having dryness no rainfall is allowing the what do you say the dry climates is allowing for the vegetation to be impacted by any kind of man made activity and that like spreads like anything have you ever seen this kind of uh, the chili uh, forest fires of 2023 it is because of this so in other words which climate is known for merite known for forest fires it is always the mediterranean climate got it all of you have you understood this point have you understood this point yes gayatri that's good others ma huh? today people are less active ha huh? maybe you are uh, still under the influence of holi come back my dear come back you had a good time appreciate it we will have another festival we can celebrate it again you should celebrate come back again for preparation so that you will enjoy the uh, what do you say the festivals again in a very very good way moving forward then how about the second aspect of the question of how mediterranean climate has an influence on climate of india you all know that mediterranean climate is part of which region it is just now i have told you it is part of the temperate region so if it is temperate region from the temperate regions you have the temperate 
cyclones so extra tropical cyclones or the temperate cyclones which originate from the mediterranean sea are dragged by the are dragged by whom the subtropical westerly jet stream the subtropical westerly jet stream because the subtropical westerly jet stream has been dragged has been dra is dragging the moisture of the disturbance in the mediterranean sea it is providing the western disturbances rainfall in our part of the world so these western disturbances are a product of what they are a product of the mediterranean sea so this process of one region having an influence on the another you also find another broad word which we call it as teleconnections right so what is the influence of mediterranean sea on india the first thing you can talk about is the western disturbances the broader thing is what we call it as the tele connections by the way what do you mean by tele connections take a something like a globe something like a globe compare different areas of the globe with respect to four segments of a car the four wheels of a car now all the four wheels need to be interconnected for the car to be moving similarly the pressure systems across the world are also interconnected the wind systems are interconnected if there is a change somewhere it will be impacting somewhere in different way the global atmospheric circulations would be impacted such kind of things will be impacted and thereby the teleconnections will have a huge say on the western disturbances and that will have a impact of rainfall in india so mediterranean sea can impact the rainfall in india this is in the form of western disturbances and even the recent el nino has an impact of pressure conditions in the mediterranean ocean which is influencing the growth of western disturbances which is nothing but temperate cyclones so the temperate cyclones are influenced by pressure variations caused by el nino and thereby it is having an impact this global communications or this global connections with respect to the elements of weather be it the temperature be it the moisture be it the wind systems the pressure systems is what is called as tele connections i hope you are all are following this i hope you are understanding this this tele tele connections has a significant impact on climate across the world so this is the thing about uh, this tele connections this is the thing about the influence of mediterranean climate on india's climate how they have a role to play hope you all have understood this right then uh, if you have any doubts about geography in general you can always get into the telegram channel and also one important thing any further things which i you want me to discuss which you want me to discuss as part of the concepts you can always mention in the comment section or in the telegram channel so that accordingly such topics i can take priority i can discuss and inform to you hope you all have understood this session well you can share it to your friends about this video or you can also be part of the telegram channel and we will have such kind of discussions regularly in the telegram channel uh, in the next few days i'll be having an interactive session in the telegram channel where you can i directly interact you can have ask your doubts you can get into the channel so hope you have a good time until next time when you discuss about this it's a good bye to all of you have a good time read well come back to the preparation again after the holy celebration and hope you get into the groove in the near future thank you all of you have a good time see you again tomorrow at the same time thank you